Hi everyone, welcome to The Wendy Show. Today we have with us Richard Leakey, a paleoanthropologist, a conservationist, and a politician. Please give a huge round of applause for Richard Leakey, one of the world's experts on human evolution. Hi. Hello. Tell us a little about yourself. Well, I was born in December of 1944, the 19th, and um, as a kid I followed my parents around archaeological digs while they were searching for fossils. Um, I, that's how I mostly got involved in being what I am today. Um, I'm now heavily involved in politics and um, excavating fossils. That's very interesting. I heard you had a very rough childhood. Well, when I was 11, um, I used to actually really love riding horses, and I fell off of my horse and fractured my skull. It was almost fatal, but luckily, I'm here today. I survived. And um, me and my dad never got along very well. Um, I also dropped out of school at the age of 16 because I had no interest in it. Um, I was terrorized as a little kid because of my political views and some of my opinions. That's terrible. At a very young age, you became an entrepreneur. Tell me more about that. Well, right around after I dropped out of high school, which was about 16, um, I began learning to fly airplanes, and also I, became, I began um, trapping animals and collecting skeletons for research institutions. Um, also, I started a business of taking um, tourists and anyone who wanted to um, on photographic safaris. Tell us more about your finding of the oldest Homo sapiens in your time period. Well, my father sent me off to the Omo River one year, and me and a bunch of archaeologists and um, just some um, friends and people who are interested decided to go with me. And um, when we were there, we accidentally stumbled upon a um, fossil. And so we looked more into the fossil and found out that it was a, um, a fossil of a human. And it happened to be the oldest Homo sapien of the time, at its time, and it was about 160,000 years old. Wow. Yes, and um, from then on, the National Geographic Society started sponsoring and funding my um, digs and my um, adventures, and yeah. That's very interesting. I received $25,000 to work on the Kobe 4i um, site. And that was probably one of my biggest sites that I worked on at the time. A big accomplishment happened for you in 1968. Please explain. In 1968, I was about 25. I was appointed as director of the National Museum of Kenya. Very tragic information came your way within a year. Please tell me what happened. Well, um, some tragic news hit me. When I was about 26, I was diagnosed with terminal kidney disease, and I was told I only had 10 years to live, but I forged on with my life, and that was about 43 years ago to this day. I'm very glad that you made it through that. Tell us about what happened in 1993. In 1993, I was flying my plane. As I said, I really loved flying my plane, or I do to this day. And um, I was flying it, and it malfunctioned and crashed. Um, I ended up losing my legs from my kneecap down, but I still kept pursuing my dreams. Amazing. Tell us about your wife, Margaret Cropper. Well, I met Margaret Cropper um, at an archaeologic um, site in Lake Natron. She convinced me to go to, back to England with her and so she could pursue her um, educational career, and I ended up studying there. and. Um, advancing in my education as well, I got a diploma. Eventually we went back to Kenya and in 1965 we got married. Truly inspiring. Well, in West Turkana I discovered an almost complete skeleton of a 12 year old boy named Turkana Boy. Um, he was then declared about approximately 1.6 million years old and I'd like to pride myself on my accomplishment. It's very interesting. Yeah guys! You're a conservationist. Tell me about your political party. In 1995, I started, started a political party. Um, I actually joined a group called the Kenyans, and it got approved as a political party in 1997. Very exciting. Tell us about your views on human evolution. Um, I believe that human evolution is more of a bush than a tree. Um, the human evolutionary tree has more than two branches. I believe it's multiple branches. Tell me more about the books that you wrote. I wrote an autobiography called One Life, which I wrote about me having the terminal 
um, kidney disease, and I believe that once my brother gave me his kidney, um, that I had a second life to live, and I focused that all on what I do today. Also, I wrote a book called The People of the Lake and The Origins of Humankind. Very exciting. Something else very exciting is today. Today's your 68th birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you, thank you.